Jeff Foreman. Uh, I just wanted to make a short little video to explain a little bit about how the, the Intorix lathe ends up working, how it ends up being set up. When I first bought the machine, one of the first improvements that I made was the addition of a template holder in the back. Now the template holder simply is just going to hold the template and allow the template guides, which end up actuating the knives, uh, and it's just going to work just like a key cutter, following the template all the way down. It ends up having a rabbit that is two and a half inches wide. This face of the template holder ends up representing the zero line of the turning. So this is the dead center line of the turning. So everything that is going to extend beyond that ends up being a radius measurement of the diameter of the turning. When you end up doing a turning, you're simply going to align the template to the zero mark, which represents the face of the headstock. <clears throat> Clamp it down in that position, and then you can end up adjusting the position where you want your knives to start and end. They're not, there are stops on the other side, and I'll explain how to set those up later. I wanted to explain some of the conditions of the lathe as well. Uh, these are some of the hydraulic lines that is coming from the pin cutter and a lot of the hydraulic lines from this and the centering devices, uh, the outer shell, the outer rubber casing is breaking loose uh, but really the lines are not leaking, it's just the outer rubber shell is just coming loose which is kind of typical uh, for a, an older machine as this. I also have some of the fittings that the hydraulics plug into across this rail on the back. There are several of these fittings that are missing, have been broken, and they've been plugged off. And uh, if it is all of these accessories end up being used, it's one of those items that you may want to replace some of those fittings. There is a little bit of leaking with some of the fittings, but it's typically not too bad. If I'm having very much leakage, uh, I usually can just wrap the fittings with a towel and it will generally suffice. These lines are in pretty good shape. These are the primary ones that are feeding the hydraulic bank across the back of the machine. These are lines that are typically not moved and that's one of the reasons that they end up being in the best shape. Okay, the, the headstock ends up having a few different options here. We have three different size headstocks that can end up going in. And it's just your choices depending on the, the type of turning that you're going to end up doing. We also have several different opt or two different options for the tailstock. We have a large and a small tailstock pin. And of course they are both going to be live centers. Then we come to the steady rest and there are two square steady rest. The larger one opens up to three and five sixteenths. That's a maximum opening. And the smaller one the maximum opening on this one is about two and three eighths, two and seven sixteenths. They do overlap just a little bit in their size. The third steady rest that we have is one that is used for round turnings. This one here. And there are several bushings that I have that can be placed into the middle of them. It can also be run by removing the bushing and letting it just run straight through the bearing. The bearing size is a little bit larger than three and a half inches. When we're setting up the machine, we use a setup guide such as this. And as you remember, I said that this edge of the, the template holder ends up representing the zero line. 
so this fixture ends up sticking out three-eighths of an inch. The knives will end up resting on that and it should end up in, in this position making a turning that would be three-quarter inches in diameter. When I go to the tail stock, go ahead and move all the way around. The tail stock ends up being 0.69 inches, and I have a small feeler gauge that I end up placing between the knife and the tail stock. So when we add all of that together, we end up coming up to the 3 8 of an inch that we would have for setting the knives. This is the same type of measuring system that you would use for setting the template in the back. Division of 360 degrees. 